Now, to set up Photoshop for pixel art, you want to go to, wait, no, before I start this, I'm going to say Paint on Net is amazing, love that program, but I have to do, um, I have to do Photoshop because I got a MacBook for college and I had, I was forced to use Photoshop, thank God for that though, because it won me over and I feel like I can win you guys over hopefully because Photoshop is great for pixel art if you know how to set it up which I'm going to teach you how to do. Now um, so you're going to go to Photoshop and then you're going to go preferences, general, you're going to switch this to nearest neighbor, preserve hard edges, you're going to switch your units to pixels and okay that's pretty much it. I'm going to resize this so it's pixel size. The first thing that I want to teach you guys is about uh, contiguous and anti-alias. So the magic wand tool and the paint bucket has anti-alias and contiguous. So if you had anti-alias, this would make everything blurry. And we want it, we want everything to be pixel, so you want this turned off ASAP. Contiguous means like, so if you wanted just the just this white block here to change color, you'd check contiguous. But if you want like all the white, you'd uncheck it. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to do gradients, and that has a lot of hotkeys as well. And this whole tutorial is about shortcuts and hotkeys. Let me bring up my keyboard so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see the keyboard. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer, and that's command. J and delete this background. Now I'm going to make the canvas size 200 by 200 so I have space. I'm going to move this to the left, rename this left, duplicate the layer so command J once again, bring this to the right, rename this right, and I'm going to remake this background. So now I'm going to use the fill tool which is G. And you can switch through the tools in this icon. So these tools, these three tools with shift and G. Really easy. So if I want to use the gradient, I could just go shift G, use the gradient, go back to my fill tool. It's just that easy. Um, if I didn't use hotkeys, I'd be here all day, which is why I want to teach you guys how to use it. So now we're going to select the back, no, we're going to make the background red, so color pick uh, red, obviously. And then, as I showed you before, contiguous is just that color, so we're going to uncheck it because we want it to uh, fill in all the blue. And it's just that easy. So now we're going to push W, go to our magic wand, select the red. And we're going to start doing this, we're going to start copying this background. Now, it starts with a gradient in the corner, so we're going to go G, Shift G to our gradient tool. And we're going to copy the colors. Uh, the corner starts in this dark blue teal, and then it goes to a light blue here. When you hold shift and you do a gradient, it automatically goes straight up or on an angle. And we want it to be on this angle, so we're going to hold shift so it's a perfect, you know. Now, we're going to bring it down, and it, it looks I did, look, looks like I did it too far, so I'm going to undo, and that's Command-Alt-Z. So now we're going to go maybe up to here. Yeah, see, like that's perfect. Um, now we're going to do the bottom and we're going to make a new layer. So it's Command, Shift, and N for a new layer. And we're going to push OK. Now, if we were to, it's the same colors like the dark blue and the light to bring this up. But if we do it on the new layer, it's just going to overlap what we just did there. So we're going to make the light blue um, see through opacity bring it down to zero and then we're going to hold shift so it's straight up bring it up 
and that's all there is to it. Now we're going to com command D. Oh, by the way, before I end this video, I'm saying command alt and shift because I have a Mac, but if you have windows, it's obviously going to be control alt and shift. I'm pretty sure I think command is control. I don't know. You're going to have to Google that and look that up because I really don't know. Now that we have this new layer here to, that rises up, um, we're going to merge it onto the picture because we want it obviously. So we're going to select both layers and we're going to go command E and that merges it. And since we are done, we're going to command A, select everything in this layer, V to move it. And we're going to use our arrow keys to move it. And then we're going to crop it. Now the last thing I'm going to teach you guys in this video is how to do the brushes. Now, the main brush we're going to use is the pencil tool because, and it has a square icon because obviously that's what you want to do your pixel art in, right? And I also use the brush tool to do like, to do hair. So if I wanted to like lighten this up a bit, you could totally lighten it up with the brush tool. This is what I do hair with. It's amazing, but for back to like outlines and like normal shading and you know, lipstick and stuff, I like the pencil tool. So shift B goes through all of that. I never use, you really never use color replacement or mixer brush. Well, I don't. So you just want to be on the lookout for the top two here. These keys here, they're above, they're on your keyboard, they're above the semicolon and the comma, apostrophe, whatever. That actually makes your brush bigger, which is really easy because you don't want to like go up here and change the size each time, like you know what I mean? So you just need to use these. Um, hotkeys is amazing. I use it in my pixel art all the time, like in my new pixel art video, the Katy Perry one, I, I use it all the time so I didn't want to confuse anyone, which is why I made this video. Like, So if you're watching me do the Katy Perry art, you're going to be like, what is he doing? Because I'm just like flipping through these um, tools with hotkeys and I never really click to show you guys what I'm doing. So yeah. Um, now to save this on Twitter. Um, we're going to resize the picture, so we're going to go to image, image size. We're going to constrain proportion so the width matches the height. What I do to get the perfect size, I go to calculator 80, so that's my number, times 8 maybe, so 640, that's not big enough. I like to put my pixel art above 1000 for Twitter, so it looks like high quality. So I'm going to go 80 times 14. So that's 1120. So that's perfect. So this is how big it is now at 100. Perfect for Twitter. It's big. And you can save that as um, a PNG. Make sure it's PNG, not GPG. Um, Another thing I forgot to say is image on image size, always, always, always have nearest neighbor. Otherwise, I'll show you how it's going to look. It's going to turn out like this. A hot mess. It's not, no, you just can't do that. Um, I hope this pixel art tutorial helps you guys. I hope you guys like Photoshop and adjust to it because it really is a good program. Um, I do all my pixel art on it. I am so tired of people asking me, how do you do pixel art? What program do you use? So I hope to release a series of um, these videos to help you guys. And I hope you guys get a lot better at pixel art. And good luck.